Sorry guys, I don't actually have any tea. I just thought that that would be funny. Plus I'm more of an iced coffee person anyway. So you're probably wondering, Evie Bug, I thought you were dead or something because you haven't posted a video in like over a year. Yeah. Hi, how you doing? <laughs> I was gone for a while for various reasons and I um, am here. <laughs> You may be wondering, Evie Bug, are you going to start posting videos again? Yes, I am. I am going to be posting some videos again very soon, and in fact, in the beginning of my next Nancy Drew video, I will be explaining a little bit about where I've been over the past year and a half or something like that, so you'll get uh, some of that there, which will be posted on Tuesday, October 22nd. So just this next Tuesday, that'll be posted, and then you'll get to uh, watch uh, some more Nancy Drew videos, because we kind of left in the very beginning of uh, Secret of Sh Secrets of Shadow Ranch. That's kind of a tongue twister. Anyway, yeah, and so we're gonna be continuing that series. But anyway, I'm posting this video today because we have some super exciting news. Uh, Nancy Drew has finally released their next Nancy Drew uh, game, which is number 33. Can you believe we're on 33 now? Number 33, Midnight in Salem. Now, it may just seem like, okay, well, whatever, they released another game. No, there's there's levels to this, okay? Because, okay, I've been a fan of Nancy Drew games for a very long time. In fact, when I started playing, the new one that had just come out was number 15, The Creatures of Kapu Cave. The Creature of Kapu Cave. And so, yeah, it's been a while. Just to kind of give you a little glimpse of, like, how long that is, uh, let me show you the release date for Nancy Drew at The Creature of Kapu Cave. Okay, according to this site, it was released October 1st of 2006. I was not even 10. <laughs> so yeah, uh, it's been a while. Every time that a new Nancy Drew is released, I always get super excited about it, have to buy it right away, and then just play it, like, instantly, the minute it gets into my hands. Uh, well, not really the minute it gets in my hands, really like the minute that I download it to the computer, then I start playing. But anyway, you get the gist. I love these games so much. At the end of number 32, The Sea of Darkness, they gave us a little uh, teaser kind of trailer thing. Well, not even really trailer, just a little teaser of the next game. And I was super excited. This is what the uh, teaser looked like. Nancy, it's me, Deirdre. I know you're not exactly president of my fan club, but listen, I need your help. Someone really important to me is in danger. Things are going from bad to worse. People are even saying she's some kind of witch. Nancy, if you don't help me, I don't think she's gonna make it out of this alive. Join me on my next adventure. So I was super freaking excited. So the Nancy Drew games would release every May and October. Um, every year we got two new games and it was really, really awesome. <laughs> um, I don't know when it started doing that, but just to kind of show you, number 29, The Silent Spy was released October of 2013. And then, number 30, The Shattered Medallion, was released May of 14. And then, <laughs> number uh, 31, Labyrinth of Lies, was released October of 14. And then, number 32, Sea of Darkness, was released May of 2015. So, I was assuming, okay, Midnight in Salem will come out October of 2015. But October came around and we didn't hear anything and we were like, what's going on? And it was a while before we actually heard anything from her interactive, but essentially they said that they were kind of redoing their um, formatting or something. They wanted to expand so that instead of the games just being on PC, they wanted them to be on like a bunch of different consoles. So we were like, okay, that's fine. You know, it's, they said it was going to take about another year. So they said, okay, October, uh, I believe, let's see. So this is the October letter from Her Interactive from 2016 when we had already expected the Nancy Drew to come out because it was uh, supposed to come out like with the um, typical way that they release games that should have been out October 2015, but they said it was going to take long Longer. So we're like, okay, a year seems like a pretty good amount of time. I mean, technically that means that they had a year and a half to work on the game. Well, here you can see during the last 12 months, we're simply not as far in the overall development of the game as we originally anticipated. Bottom line, we are not in a position to confirm a launch date for Nancy Drew Midnight in Salem. And that was what we had heard. <laughs> then they also did an update in December. 
uh, where they said that their target release date was spring of 2019. And that felt like forever away because this one, let's see, this letter was from December of 2017. So at this point, it had already been a whole nother year, plus two months, uh, since the last thing that we heard about the Nancy Drew. And um, then they were saying it wasn't going to be till spring of 19. So that was going to be over another year away. And it's just like, it's been a crazy long road. Well, anyway, a few months ago, they started actually seeming like they were going to be finishing up the game, which was pretty cool because uh, spring of 2019 came and went and they didn't say a thing. And at least not that I saw. I mean, I could be wrong. Please don't go hating on me. But I've been following this pretty closely and it seemed like nothing was getting done. Um, but it was, it was probably around springtime, I suppose, when they started uh, kind of releasing little tidbits, but definitely didn't look like the game was going to be done in spring. Um, so if we head over here to the Nancy Drew Facebook page, okay, I take back what I said, they did start releasing some stuff before spring, but like I said, it wasn't like, um, it wasn't looking like they were actually going to be finishing the game. So yeah, it, it was still un, unde undetermined. To be, to be determined, whatever. Um, so anyway, on February 1st of this year, they released this um, character, what's it called? A character, like, profile thing um, of one of the characters named Judge Danforth. So it says, the well-established yet somewhat scatterbrained Judge Danforth is at the center of pressing legal battles in the town of Salem. The arson of the famed historic Hawthorne estate is under investigation and citizens want justice. But could Judge Danforth be harboring a hidden agenda to disrupt the investigation? Hard to say. So this was super exciting when they posted this uh, little tidbit because I was like, oh yeah, okay, we're finally getting some stuff. Like we get to kind of know, like, because we didn't really even know what the game was going to be about or anything. We just knew that it was set in Salem and that there was a house fire. That, that was really all that we knew. So that was pretty exciting. So after that, they did post a few more. They kept kind of releasing the um, character profiles in little bits by little bits. So let's see, the next one they had was here for Alicia Cole. Alicia Cole is a highly a qualified attorney who left the big city to work with the soon-to-be-retired Judge Danforth. George Danforth. <laughs> Judge Danforth. She loves the area and finds the smaller town environment more to her liking. However, in Salem, she must learn to deal with the occasional she-put-a-spell-on-me case, especially behind the backdrop of a community that hasn't come to terms with its dark... Oh, what did I do? <laughs> there we go. With its dark and haunting past. Have the residents' soup superstitions influenced Alicia's judgment or do her ambitions run deeper than she lets on? Hmm. Now this one was released on March 15th so they, they were releasing them fairly regularly because I don't know how many characters are going to be in this in total. I mean we have the ones that they've given us. This is the third so far. Uh, Nancy Drew games don't typically have a ton of characters um, so yeah it's it seems like this one's got, got a, a good amount, considering that some only have like three characters. <laughs> Jason Danforth is the son of Judge Danforth. As a child, Jason loved to play in and around the infamous Hoth Hawthorne House. Even though the people of Salem speculated the estate was haunted, Jason continued to visit until one day when he was 10, he witnessed an unexplained sighting, one that haunts him to this day. As years passed, Jason enjoyed being the it guy in town and being both wealthy and handsome. Some say that Jason is his own biggest fan. For Jason, position has its privileges, but does his status mask the curse of his past? Hmm. Wonder, wonder what it was he did. Or witnessed, or whatever. Alright, I'm sure that we'll find out soon. Okay, on May 7th, they released this photo here, which said that the pre-orders were going to begin to... <laughs> were going to begin. <laughs> we're going to beginning. <laughs> Pre-orders were going to begin on October 1st of 2019 and I was so excited just because like I said this has been a long long time. Over four years I've been waiting for this game. All right and then releases were going to be November 19th. That was super exciting to see. Also on May 7th they released another uh, character profile. We have May Perry. I think it's May. Looks like it'll be May. May Perry has spent her young life pulled between two extremes, the near crushing protective attention by her parents and sister Tegan, and the cruel gazes and whispers by the local townsfolk. 
They didn't really give her much. That was all, that's all they gave to May. <laughs> we don't get to know much about her. On June 28th, they released that the Hardy Boys are going to be, it, like, I don't know if they're going to be in the game. The fact that they gave them a character profile makes me think that they're going to be actually in the game with us, like they were in number 15 and also number 13. Um, so hopefully that is the case, because that would be a lot of fun. Um, but they might just be, like, for phone calls and stuff like that. But I really hope that they have the actual characters that get to come and, like, help us. That would be really cool. Alright, I don't know if you all remember Deirdre Shannon, but she was from number 25. She's a uh, character from Nancy's high school past, um, and lives in the home her hometown of River Heights. Deirdre Shannon. High maintenance Deirdre Shannon has spent her life hovering in Nancy's shadow and lives with the knowledge that she is the girl who would have become Nancy Drew. Who says she would have become Nancy Drew? Whatever. Had circumstances turned out better for her. July 26th, they came out with another character profile for Lauren Holt. As the last living person residing on the Hawthorne property, Lauren claims to be the heir of the historic Hawthorne house. Now, can we just for a second look at the fact that the new character releases, like the, the descriptions keep getting shorter and shorter and shorter. Like compare this to like Jason. It's like a huge difference, but okay. All right, here we have Tegan Perry. Tegan Perry is May's older sister and cares for her and the house while their parents are away. A warm, hospitable person, she runs the local museum and is passionate about Salem's history. So we've got quite a few characters so far. All right, August 9th, they released Olivia Ravencroft, constantly commanding the spotlight. Olivia Ravencroft runs a witch tour and novelty magic shop. It's well known locally that her smoke and mirrors and entertainment is not always accurate, but is always very theatrical. <laughs> she sounds like fun. Okay, on August 16th, they released the first of the, like, photos or screenshots of what the game is going to look like. So I'm not sure if this is someone's kitchen or something like that. It doesn't really say anything, um, but uh, looks pretty cool. We have another screenshot from the game. And this one looks like the outside of a house. So I don't know if this is the Hawthorne house or if this is a different house. I'm not really sure. Here we have another photo. I don't know if this is going to be like a screenshot from the game of maybe the house burning down or something like that. Um, but still, it's uh, pretty cool that they kept, you know, here's uh, August 30th. And they've been releasing things little by little, which has been helping to kind of keep us entertained for a bit. Um, they really didn't do much the first couple of years, but now this last year they've been trying to release things to get some hype up for the game. Okay, here we have another screenshot of one of the characters from the game. I'm thinking that this might be Alicia Cole, because it looks very much like that character. It doesn't say though, but I'm, I'm thinking that's probably who it is. September 6th, here we have another screenshot, and this looks like maybe Judge Danforth, I'm assuming, unless if there's like another old white guy, <laughs> but I'm assuming that this is probably Judge Danforth maybe in his office. And then here we have another screenshot, looks like maybe a hallway of the city hall or something like that. This right here is probably the son, Jason Danforth, so we got another screenshot from the game. And this looks like maybe a city square or something. Uh, a lot of you might recognize this poster here, it's been in quite a few of the Nancy Drews. Okay, this one is the first one to actually have like a little description here, so it looks like it's another screenshot from the game. It was posted on September 20th, 2019 says, uh, breaking new in-game reveal, check out luminous infusions in the town square. Okay, so that must be uh, Olivia Ravencroft's store maybe? I think they said she had a store. Here we have what looks like another screenshot from the game maybe of a cemetery, so that's pretty cool. Gotta have some spooky cemeteries. Okay, here's another portion of the cemetery it looks like. Okay, and then they released the same photo again, but they updated it. Um, because now it says that the pre-orders are October 15th, 2019, and the release date of the game is the 3rd of December. So they pushed it back a little bit, and they did, um, explain a little bit about that, just, you know, they, they just want the game to be good. They want it to be, like, the way that they want it before they release it. So I understand pushing the date back, uh, even though a lot of people are kind of upset about it, like, come on guys, we've already waited four and a half years for this game, actually five years now because it would have come out October of 2015 so oh wait no so that would be four years yeah so we waited four years for the game so what's an extra week like it's okay or a couple weeks or whatever you know it's like from beginning of November to the beginning of December so they pushed it back a month they want to get it perfect that's fine by me okay so maybe that other place wasn't 
uh, Olivia Ravencroft shop. Maybe this is. I actually haven't seen this screenshot, so that is pretty cool. It looks like maybe a new taskbar here at the bottom, so it's going to be a little bit strange with things being different, um, but sometimes change is good, so we'll see. Here we have another screenshot from the game posted October 4th. So you can see some people just kind of standing around. I wonder if this over here, it, I think she's one of the characters. Maybe this is the sister, Tegan, and um, oh gosh, I forgot her name. It was the one with the super short bio. Lauren, I think her was her name. Um, anyway, so maybe those are some of the characters, or maybe they're just people standing. <laughs> I don't know. So that is all that they posted here on their page. Uh, so again, the um, pre-orders begin October 15th and the release date is the, the 3rd of December. Now today is the 16th and so I wanted to order the game yesterday, but I also wanted to record all of this and I didn't have time yesterday, so that's why I'm doing it today instead. Uh, obviously I won't be posting this today, but anyway, you, you get you get how YouTube works. So now I figure that we would go and watch the uh, teaser trailers that they posted for the game. We'll start with the teaser that they posted and then the actual um, like trailer that they posted, the more extended, I think it's not the fully extended one, um, but it's another trailer so yeah the dark is the unknown a plane of existence that vibrates just underneath the light usually when you least expect it that's why they say don't be out past midnight in Salem do you believe in ghosts? Nancy, so glad you're here. I don't know how to explain it, but I saw something. Okay, so you can definitely see that uh, it looks different. It definitely looks very different than what we're used to. So now let's check out the more extended trailer. Oh no, this is just music. Well, I forgot that they actually didn't release the longer trailer yet. <laughs> it's just that one, which is kind of interesting. They usually have the longer trailer posted before the pre-ordering. Um, anyway, so yeah, now I guess we just get to order the game. I am so, so excited because this is like, it's been a long time coming. I mean, so there are some people who started college and then finished college before this game came out. That's all I got to say about it. It's been a long, long time. So now we are on the Her Interactive site, and as you can see by this tab here, we can now pre-order the game. I am so excited. This is this is thrilling, guys. Okay, so as you can see, they have. Um, Let's see, so they've got it on Windows Digital, Mac, and then Windows Physical Copy. Now, I thought that they also said they were going to have it for, like, Xbox and stuff, so I'm not sure why I only see these three. That is really odd, because that was, like, the whole reason it's taking so long, is because they were going to have it on, like, Xbox and PlayStation and Wii and stuff like that. So that is really weird. Anyway, I'm going to get the physical copy because I like to have something to hold in my hands. <laughs> uh, so let's see, we're going to go ahead and hit the pre-order button. And check out the price tag on this baby. Okay, so... Oh, they're throwing in a strategy guide for free. I mean, we don't need that because we're a senior detective. But that's kind of cool anyway. And the game itself costs $22, which is not actually that bad considering that they've been working on this game for four years. So, like, it's it's taken a lot more to put this game together. I know that, like, you know, they probably shouldn't, like, up the price a lot for, like, a new game like this uh, compared to, like, older games because typically it was about 20 bucks for the new ones. But they've redone a lot of stuff, so that's a lot of extra cost. So... My hope is just that they don't go like bankrupt or something, so please go out and buy the game because I really want to support them because I've been playing this stuff since I was nine years old, okay? <laughs> and I don't want it to like die. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be a supporter, <laughs> and so if you would like to, uh, you can go ahead and buy the game as well. And if you want, you can follow along with my walkthrough series, so you won't be left alone, you won't be left in the lurch, you're not going to have to struggle through the game alone, I'll be right there with you. I got you, boo. So uh, that will be coming after the Secrets of Shadow Ranch series in December, I guess, is when I'll probably get the game and then hopefully start posting those walkthroughs. So pre-order your game. 
and we'll, we'll, we'll play this together. All right, and that's that. So we've pre-ordered the game. It's going to be on our way to my house December 3rd of this year, and then we're gonna be opening it and just starting a series right away with the Nancy Drew walkthroughs for Midnight in Salem. I am so excited, it's going to be so much fun, and I hope it's not a huge disappointment, but honestly, as long as they just keep on making games, I don't really care. <laughs> I'm not that picky, really. Um, I just don't want my games to stop, because <laughs> I'm like waiting for when it gets to like Nancy Drew number 100 or something, that would be insane. So anyway, Thank you very much for joining me on this journey of looking back at the last four years of her interactives in activity. <laughs> I'm kidding, they've been very active, okay? Don't come at me. Just, I'm just, they can, they can handle a joke or two. It's been a long time coming. I know I keep saying that, but it's, it's, I'm excited, okay? Okay, leave me alone. <laughs> All right, we'll see you next time, and also we'll see you in Nancy Drew Secret of Shadow Ranch, which will be starting back up again this Tuesday, and it'll be every Tuesday and Thursday until the series is over, and then we'll be waiting for Midnight in Salem. See you next time. Bye!